Acts chapter 9, verse 21. But all that heard him were amazed and said, Is not this that destroyed them which called on the name in Jerusalem? And came hither for the intent, that intent that he might bring them bound unto the chief priest. But Saul increased the more in strength and confounded the Jews which dwelled at Damascus, proving that this is the very Christ, Saul, who became the Apostle Paul. Saul was a blasphemer and he was a murderer. And yet, he was saved, he became born again. If you turn to Christ today and, and ask him forgiveness, he will forgive you. You turn to Psalm 51 verse 13 and 18. Psalm 51 verse 13 Then will I teach transgressors the ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Verse 18 Do good in thy good pleasure unto Zion, build thou the walls of Jerusalem. Once you come to know the forgiveness of God, once you come to know the cleansing of God, then go and build the people of God up. Go and preach, go and evangelize, go and do the work of God. Even if you're a young Christian, go and serve the Lord. Go on a mission trip, go on a short-term mission. Go and join the youth group or the, or the um, whatever group that is doing evangelism or mission or whatever. But go and build the house of God when God forgives you. So you might be a skeptic today and you've had a blog show where you've attacked Christianity and now you've come to know Jesus. What should you do? Set up a blog show defending Christianity. Set up a website defending Christianity. You're a skeptic today and you've come to know Jesus. That's what you can do. But my friends, however sinful you have been, David was sinful. He committed murder to get a woman, and God called him on it. But God forgave him when he repented. Whatever sin we do, God will call us on it, believer or unbeliever. But when we be honest with God and come to him and say, Lord, I did mess up. Lord, I did fail. Lord, I, I 